and we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day And we are back. Welcome to Good Energy, guys. In this special edition, we're going to take a look at the Bad Hamburg Open. And we have a final to cover here, guys. That's right. Preview and prediction video. Caroline Garcia. Bonjour. Comment vu Saving match point against Elisa Cornet and Bianca Andreescu. It's been a long time coming, but Bianca Andreescu is back in a final congratulations bb on the beat yes 280 points up for grabs and twenty six thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money for these two professionals who have made millions on tour but guys it's the trophy it's the hardware that matters and bianca and dress you eight and five on the year coming into this tournament former ranked number number four in the world on tour she has three singles titles 162 wins 67 losses on her career and bianca and dress you she's never played caroline garcia before but she's gonna have to play her best tennis uh this year she's she's only averaging about two aces per game She's winning 70% of her service games, which is pretty good considering the roller coaster rides she's had. Uh, she's making about two double faults per game. She's winning 61% of her first serves, 53% of her second serves. She's saving 62% of her break points. And when she has the opportunity to break opponents, she does that at 48 that's right, guys. Bianca and Dress you the 2019 U.S. Open champion where she beat Serena Williams, guys. You cannot forget that I was there. That was an amazing match. On grass, she doesn't really have much experience. He's 17 and 9 on grass, 17 wins, 9 losses. She's 4 and 1 this year on grass. And in terms of her form, she's getting it done recently. She's on a four match win streak and she's won. Excuse me, guys. She's on a four-match win streak, and she's won six of her last ten. Uh, she's beat Simona Halep uh, before Halep had to withdraw. Uh, Kataskina, that was a huge, huge win, guys. Very huge win against Kataskina. She she took out the top seed, guys. Uh, Swan, Trevisan, I thought that was a big one, playing the crafty lefty. Uh, two of her losses, uh, notable losses in the top ten. Uh, of her last matches, Pliskova, she lost in three sets. That was a very good match, and she lost in straight sets to Belinda Bensick. Who is she going to be taking on? Caroline Garcia. And Caroline Garcia, of the two ladies, definitely the much more experienced lady. Uh, however, does not own a Grand Slam. Caroline Garcia is 38 and 23 on grass, 6 and 2 this year on grass in particular. And Caroline Garcia uh, has some pretty good wins. She's uh, also on the four match win streak. We saw her be Elisa Cornet, where she saved a match point. Uh, that's a little bit concerning to me, though. Uh, she beat Lasiski, Rakimova, who's a good young talent. She beat Sasnovich, who is just so tricky to play. Anytime you beat Sasnovich, guys, it, take your hats off because she is so tricky and volatile. Caroline Garcia on her career, 393 wins, 309 losses. So, I mean, essentially, you know, she's pretty much just about a 500 level type of player. You know, she exchanges wins and losses. So that's something to really, really keep in mind here. Um, but of the two ladies, Caroline Garcia is definitely the much better server. Uh, that is... I mean, without a doubt, Caroline Garcia averages about five aces per game. She had seven aces in her last match against Elisa Cornet. She uh, wins 73.3% of her service games, only 22% of her return games. She's not the best returner, which is why a lot of her matches go over and go long. Uh, but in t when she has the opportunity to break opponents, she does that at a 30, 37% rate. So she's much better 
you know, breaking opponents when she does. Uh, she saves only about 61% of her break points. Um, and then in terms of her first serve win percentage, that's 61%. Uh, I definitely would like to see that a little bit higher, but Caroline Garcia, there's there's no doubting who she is. Uh, Caroline Garcia, very experienced French woman. She's been around the tour for a while, and who's going to win this match, guys? This is the match that's going to come down to, my opinion, athletic ability. Um, I think of the two ladies, without a doubt, Caroline Garcia has the better serve. However, I think Bianca Andreescu is the much better defensive player. I think she's a stronger player. Once the ball's in play, Bianca Andreescu has the power to completely hit Caroline Garcia off the court and disrupt her game. Caroline Garcia is... I mean, her best shot is going to be her forehand. Bianca Andreescu, though, has a strong forehand and a very powerful backhand that can really isolate anything Caroline Garcia throws at her. The, the one number I'm really concerned about is the return stats of Caroline Garcia. Uh, with Bianca Andreescu's power, is she going to be able to return that? That is the question. Uh, Bianca Andreescu is a three to one favorite in this match. The experts have her three to one, and that is pretty hefty in any final. Um, BB on the beat. Her road to recovery has been tough. If you guys follow her story, uh, she had that great 2018, 2019 was phenomenal, and she pretty much. Um, after the WTA finals in 2019 where she lost to Hale up, she kind of got her revenge this tournament. But the reality here is she said that she kind of hit a mental roadblock where she didn't want to really play tennis anymore. Where if she lost, she got really depressed. And if she win, she it basically made her want to win more and she got addicted to winning to where when she lost it really really made her sad and down and that's no spot any athlete wants to be at it's a professional sport you play it because you love the game first and if you're playing it for money then that's when a lot of the problems start but if you're letting the outside pressure and sponsors and coaches and managers get to you then that can really really crumble your world i really really hope Bianca and Dressu can continue her positive reinforcement and house. If you follow her on social media, she's really having a good time. And I'm really happy for Bianca, her best friend. She recently celebrated her, um, her birthday um, earlier in the month. But the reality here is this is a match where Bianca has to win. And a loss here could really, really send her spiraling down, especially going into Wimbledon. Uh, this is a match where I do think Bianca and Dressu will win on the money line. Uh, it's minus 275 now. It has dropped a little bit. Of course, it's going to drop with Caroline Garcia being the underdog of such a huge line. But I do think the experts got it right this time. I like Bianca and Dressu to win this match here. And this is a match that I would take to go under 21.5 games. That's a pick, guys. Join me for the next preview and prediction video. We're going to take a look at Jelena Ostapenko and Kvitova. Let's go, guys. We are 